Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is all mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 300, NASDAQ off 104, S&P's down 33, gold contract up $18.50, trading at 1310 an ounce. You got silver up $0.07, cents, $14.56 an ounce, light sweet crude, hammered, down $3.15, $53.43 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note up 10 at 22 ticks, 126.12. 30 year up a full point, plus 10 ticks at 154.10. And you get King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up down 383 ticks, trading 97, 130. The euro is trading at a price point of 111.69 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 108.42 to 1 US dollar. And the pound is out here at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. Let's pull up uh, these E-minis as we come into the close out here today. So you're going to see the, the low of the day, folks, is at 27.51. And we back this in a little. Let me see. There we go. So this is wide open for uh, a test into the low because what we just had here is this. 20 minutes before I get on, 10 minutes, yeah, 20 minutes before I get on, you get a little pop out here. Uh, but what that didn't do, that couldn't even get over the uh, downdraft uh, that had been created on the open, which is uh, the 2762. You're at 2756, coming into the weekend. Bottom line is that uh, you're coming into the end of the month, beginning of the month, normally window dressing. But in this particular case, folks, they're bailing out of this market as quick as they can. Uh, the futures right now, uh, 2756. Um, you know, the low that is is going after right now is the swing low that was established out here on the 8th of March, which is uh, 2726. That's why that's how this baby is set up. We go take a look at the uh, NDX 100. You say have the same type of setup inside the uh, NDX 100. What you have out here inside the NDX 100, that's breaking down. It's down 107 points. That's going after the same time frame, the 8th. Uh, the top of the 8th is uh, 7,062. The bottom of it is 60. 965. And uh, bottom line is that uh, you have a breakdown out here. If we take a look and we look at this on a weekly basis, what you're going to see inside the SPY is the uh, bottom line is that, um, you know, you, you, you're down off this high of a 294, you're 275. What's game right now is the uh, 251 to 233. And that's bringing you back to the December 26th uh, swing low. Gold contract caught the bid. Bottom line is that uh, you get the gold contract. Uh, it, was, it was going against this um, trend line yesterday, folks. It broke the trend coming into the close. So it, it had broken it. It, it had broken it with, with you know, pretty good uh, price as well as volume. Today, it just blew it apart. Uh, gold contract right now. This baby uh, wants to run up to the highs of February. The highs of February. 1361.50. Right now you're at 1310.90. You're up $18.50. You have 315,000 contracts uh, that are traded. Silver, st silver still laggard. Bottom line, uh, silver needs some action here. Um, you know, it's peaking its head up, uh, and it's peaking its head up right into the trend line. So let's see if we we're up by seven cents. You're at $14.56. We take a look at this, and you're gonna see. It's just peeking its head over. So, you know, we'll see how, how Monday reacts. I don't expect it's going to jump uh, this line out here today. But Monday, you very well may. Notes and bonds, bottom line, <laughs> they just want to keep going, man. Um, it's been quite a run. There's no two ways about that. You get uh, the 10-year up 21.6. You're at 126.11. And what you have out here is that this little baby, if we take this, uh, let me put this on. Let me see. T1. I'm going to put this on a generic chart because what I'll show you what the TLT has already done. The TLT is actually saying that we're, we're actually going to go to all-time lows in yield. And the 10-year is not here yet, but so check this out. We're at 126.11. 
And when you when you look at this, what what has happened is that you can go all the way back. We've been in this consolidation since November of 2016. Well, the top of this consolidation in, inside the 10 year is 12803. If we go over to the uh, well, let's look at the 30 and see where the 30 is. US one. Yeah. So let's look at the 30. So the 30 is at 154.11. We take this. Okay, same thing. It, 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 the top of that is 159. Now watch this when you bring the TLT. The TLT has broken top side. And when I say broken top side, you've broken over everything. The TLT is saying that we can actually go to 1.38 in the 10 year. So what you have is this, is that you're going to see that the, we, we broke the consolidation that's been in place since the 2016. The top of that consolidation is 129.56. You're at 130.69. So you're talking about big numbers. And, you know, bottom line is that the, the market itself, you know, we had talked about the, you get the China ta Tafts, okay, bottom line, that's going to hit the S&P 500 for sure. Come out this morning, now, the, now it's going to get weaponized and it's going to go against Mexico, bottom line. Uh, guess what? Uh, in Mexico's case, you know, it's really wild, folks. I actually have tiles coming over from Mexico right now that I'm going to get hit with. Uh, we, we get tiles from a little village, handmade tiles. Uh, but bottom line, it is what it is. Uh, we'll see how this uh, shakes out because uh, what, you, what you also have is that, you, you know, you have um, not plenty, but Chuck Grassley, who is a powerful uh, Republican senator, Senator is coming out saying that uh, he thinks this is a misuse of presidential Taft authority. Uh, well, guess what? We'll see whether anyone is going to basically put their head up and start doing their job. Because the bottom line is that uh, the, the longer that you can keep getting away with things, which Trump does, the bottom line, he'll just keep going. It's not going to stop. So we'll see uh, if uh, he's going to go out and go do anything about it. You know, what does happen, of course, he's from Iowa. So the bottom line is that they are getting hammered beyond belief. I was talking about yesterday. Yeah, it's one thing us paying a few dollars, uh, whether we want to buy a shirt and all this stuff, but that's our choice. It's a whole nother deal when you are talking about uh, the aspect of uh, losing your job or losing orders in a huge way. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's down 298. Nasdaq up 102.